my name is Todd Lamley and welcome to Cisco Firepower Threat Defense. In this short, first short section of three, I'm going to show you how to install uh, Firepower Threat Defense on a 5500X series. Uh, and it takes quite a bit of time, so I'm gonna do, do the videos in, in short spurts. So let's go ahead and take a look. One of the things that I already did was I rebooted the box and hit escape and then erase the desk because you're talking at least 10 minutes here. So I saved us a lot of time. So if I come back here, let's see where I did this. Um, so I rebooted, I was at Ramon already here. I rebooted and the key was right here well, using break. So if you were at the greater than sign because you were an FTD or the pound sign because you're an SA or whatever, then once you reboot, you just, after about a minute, you gotta hit escape here or the whole thing will boot. I, I It wouldn't happen to me because I was in Ramon already. But in this case here, you're gonna erase the disk. Now I already copied, wrote this out. Let's talk about this. This is the next thing I do. And one of the things we gotta pay attention to here, move this over here, is on my server. So here is my, my server I'm connected to on the management VLAN, the same one that this guy is connected to. Uh, the FTD box or well, it's just a plain ASA at this point, but notice I have a FTP This I'm going to use at when we FTP, but right now I need this file I need to boot the, F the FTD image so I can configure it and then download the system image So I already downloaded these if we take a look where do I have those here not there here hold on so we go out to Cisco and if you look here uh, download software and firewall security firewalls firewall management this is the FMC then you hit Firesight pretty funny old term right Firesight system software 623 notice the different software versions you come up here the latest 623 now for this I clicked uh, it, when I showed you the uh, how to install the FMC if you saw that one we went and downloaded this one but what I really wanted was these two guys here here is my upgrade file, I don't want the upgrade file, this is my FMC, what I wanted, sorry, I wanted to come back over here and find my 5506. Now, you go out and you say 5506 with firepower, it's not what we're doing, but that's where it's at. So firewalls, next generation firewall, 55X with firepower services, choose your, your 5500X series, which mine was an X, and so when you click the firepower services, you're thinking I'm downloading the SFR module, right? Which we're not, because when we click on that, here, I'll go out there. When we click on that, we get these different options here. Come down to the bottom, and I'll click firepower threat defense. Then what I want is the boot file here and the system install package. This goes in the TFTP server. This goes into the, uh, the F, uh, FTP. Now, in this case here, I go to ROMMON, I reboot, hit escape. I'm gonna erase the disk for anything that's on there. Then I put the address, notice these are all caps. Address equals, if you've ever done iOS, right? This, this isn't anything new. This is my IP address mask, here's my server, and here's that boot file. We're saying go to this TFT server, so the TFT server's running. So now I'm gonna do TFTP DNLD for download. And this actually takes a couple minutes, so I just showed you those files during this. So I'm gonna let this part run, and then we actually have to configure it again after this. Now sometimes this errors out, um, not always but usually, so we may have to run this command twice, no big deal. Yep, there we go. And you can't up arrow, TFTP download, welcome to TFTP, right? Um, so this process I'm gonna show you would, I wouldn't even have to do multiple videos if I had like a 5545, because it would be about 10, maybe 15 minutes with all the configuration and this one's well over an hour, all right? You get what you pay for. <laughs> so, so one of the things while I'm doing this, if you have 55, 25, 45, 55s, you wanna keep those and run FTD on them. They're very powerful hardware. They have the Nitrox chipset in them for the SSL decryption, which with 623 is now available. So uh, people are replacing those with 2100s and 4100s. Now I understand those 4100s are very powerful, um, but you don't, those are still, send them to me. I'll take your 5545s. Anyways, those are very powerful hardware. They cost a lot of money. You know, I know they're all end of life, but you can still get multiple years out of them. Okay, this is just, again, take a couple minutes. When I do this next part, I'm gonna configure it, and then we'll start the um, FTP download and let that go, and then stop the video and, and do another one. So 
um, once this network interface comes up. So again, just find your, log in and find your files. Let me show you this where it's again, I have a minute. Uh, security, undownload, security, firewalls, uh, next generation firewall, 55X, firepower, and then uh, X with firepower. And then, uh, so if we come and look in here again, so if I did have it, we have uh, the ASA software here, firepower services for ASA. So if you have an ASA, then you would just download these. And again, you have the boot image and the system file, and you'd basically do the same thing, but your ASA would be installed. The ones we're doing now has no config, no operating system, nothing. It's from scratch. So you, we would load these on top of an existing ASA. All right, let's see where we're at here. Let's come back here. Okay, just a couple more minutes. We're gonna go ahead and wait for it as I wanna configure this. There we go. Okay, now we're at the Firepower boot prompt. And again, if you had anything about a 5506, this would have flown through here. But again, I'm gonna do this on this lowest level. They're great for class or benchmarking and testing and so on. But I have customers, um, let me go ahead and do this. I have customers that have thousands of these, right? So mine is uh, FTD 19 is what I'm doing. And yes, but watch the next one, be careful here. Uh, you could do DHCP, but I don't recommend it. So we're gonna do no. It's easy to hit yes, yes, um, but we don't wanna do that. And now this is only temporary to get to the TFTP server. We have to do it again. No, uh, and we need the DNS server, sure. And I don't need that. Or oh, uh, Domain name I'll put in, because I'll keep that. FTD19.sfgtc.local. Really likes its domain names. Uh, I could put in a search domain. And and NTP ops, absolutely. And put in your, and now we're gonna look at that and say yes. Now what I'm gonna do is, let's go ahead and take a look at the next, what I wanna do is FTP now. So obviously I wrote these down and I'm gonna hit enter and this takes a second. Now you might have to run this command twice too, so we'll let this run. System install, now this is lowercase, if you try to do a capital S here, it wouldn't work. System install FTP colon, whack whack, put in their username and password, the IP address, and here's the file. So if I was to go look out here, uh, and uh, I'm looking at the system 623 right here, that's not the one, I'm in ASA, aren't I? So if I come back over here and click here, I wanna make sure you guys get the right one down here. Uh, FTD 623-83.pkg, right? So that's what I have. And I have that on my FTP server. And we'll go ahead and yes, this isn't scary for me at this point because I don't even have anything. But if you were in production and you were like, okay, I'm gonna erase my config here sometimes. Now, when this comes back verifying and then downloading, it could fail here once. And that you know, one of the things I should have done was ping my default gateway or something just to, to get it warmed up and fill up the ARP cache or something. So it very well looks like it may be doing it. Now, I'm gonna wait a couple minutes and show you a trick that you're gonna to wanna to do. So, and it does take like three or four minutes. So it's worthwhile sitting here and waiting for once this downloads. When it comes back, <clears throat> I can go ahead and cut this now, but when this comes back and it's, and it's downloading and extracting, once it says extracting here in a couple minutes, you're gonna to wanna to press enter and give it an enter because what'll happen after a period of time on 5506, like 20 minutes, it'll come back and say, hey, uh, do you wanna continue with install? And it'll automatically do that for you so you don't have to watch it. All right, on the next section, we're gonna go ahead and finish up this install.